Hello. We'd like to say thank you to our transportation department who really stepped up during our COVID-19 closure this year. Our transportation department and drivers were instrumental in providing support to other essential functions during the closure by delivering food and resources to McKinney Vento students and other school populations as needed. Today, we'd like to share our plans for transportation regarding our return to school this fall, all in an effort to keep our community informed. First, we will purchase additional cleaning equipment and supplies with the understanding that buses will be disinfected more frequently and thoroughly. In addition, we plan to systematically clean and disinfect all buses and transportation vehicles before and after routes. Furthermore, if buses have transported a passenger or a driver who tests positive for COVID-19, the bus will be taken out of service and only be used after cleaning and disinfecting. Second, our goal is to assign drivers to a single bus and a specific route and establish consistent driver assignments for extracurricular activities as well. Students will be assigned a single bus and all students will be required to social distance by being assigned to a specific seat. Bus drivers will be required to wear cloth coverings or cloth face coverings or plastic shields and then follow the COVID-19 prevention strategies. And then third, additional bus stops and routes may be added when necessary. We are in the process of determining the physical barriers or the space needed between the driver and the student passengers when feasible. In an effort to have an accurate count of students needing transportation for the 2021 school year, we're asking parents to register their students for transportation through the registration portal or survey that should be sent out to you soon. In addition, we have a registration form placed on our district website and the transportation Facebook page to ensure that we do not leave out any student needing transportation who are eligible, meaning that if you live more than two miles away from your campus. Instructions for filling out the form will be placed on the website as well, and our plans are to create all routes by July 17, 2020. Finally, when social distancing on buses is not possible, we plan to require cloth face mask and other mitigation strategies to keep our students safe. Our plans are for transportation to serve as the second point of the screening continuum. The first point should be families identifying symptoms that indicate students must stay at home. Families are encouraged to self-report symptoms of illness, which include fever, new onset of cough, chills, body aches, etc. Self-reporting mechanisms can include calling the school nurse or calling a health care provider for assistance. Our buses will use clearly visible signage to communicate the COVID-19 symptoms students should not have if traveling on a school bus. Our final point on the screening continuum will be the campus staff visually checking for symptoms and confirming from families that students are COVID-19 symptom free. Our bus drivers will take safety precautions as indicated for staff, I frequently hand washing, uh, cloth face coverings or shields, and the use of hand sanitizers. For questions or concerns about our transportation procedures, please feel free to contact our transportation office at 210-945-1230.